Hi guys, here's another video for our low impact series, or we also used to call these the gentler workouts. Please make sure to loosen up and warm up before all of our videos, and of course read the disclaimer. Body weight only for this workout guys, hey how you doing? Alright give us a flex, okay we're ready to get pumped, and to burn some of that annoying fat off. Okay guys, so let's loosen everything up, we're going to rotate everything, move around a little bit, just swing your arms in and out, real gentle. Feel that stretch through the chest and the upper lats. Let's move the hips around. Okay, make sure to loosen up before you start, guys. Really, really important. Remember, guys, that our warm-ups at the beginning are very short. Maybe 30 seconds, you know, 45 seconds, not very much. So, guys, if you need to have a stretch of your own, then pause the video now and go ahead and warm up a little bit more, okay? Uh, remember, your own body needs looking after okay so if you've got a sore shoulder i'm going to make sure we warm up a little bit more or maybe you get tight calves recurring injuries make sure you look after them that's why we created this series guys for those who are perhaps a little bit unfit a little bit older perhaps or perhaps prone to a few injuries so let's make sure we look after ourselves and we are off with some high knee walks guys here we go alternating knee raising up to the front and we're touching the fingers together underneath alternating knees back straight head up keep your chin level all right guys and we can see nat doing a another workout to the side okay check out the other workout video she's probably doing another one for you guys alternating knee make sure you lift that knee nice and high as you saw me signal a minute ago to make sure that you're bringing the knee right up and to touch the fingers together underneath keep your back straight core tight all the way up all the way down alternating feet just go at your own pace you could of course do these a little quicker or a little slower whichever works for you if you notice guys i'm not hunching not leaning forward keeping the back straight and the head up okay guys very important not to hunch when you're doing that exercise keep your back straight lift your knee nice and high help with that flexibility single-sided star jumps coming up okay legs only so hands on your hips stepping one side to the other okay a variation on a legs only star jump just stepping one side to the other if you have any trouble with jumping this can be a nice alternate exercise the weight is going on the bent leg guys okay so you're only just tapping that foot on the outside keep your hands on your hips keep your back straight and your head up alternating one step and the other keep your feet square you're doing great okay head up keep your shoulders back again no hunching keep it nice and straight stepping one side to the other all right good i hope you're having a great week by the way let's keep that going okay 45 seconds each exercise make sure to tap that foot on the floor every one of those all right loosen up a little bit loosen the hips up have a chat with whoever else is there like i am all right guys next exercise okay we're going to touch the tip of the fingers to the floor and we're going to do alternating floor touch squat here we go guys nice and slow feet square spread the knees as you go down forming a tabletop at the bottom see how you got a tabletop there try to keep your back straight reach out and it's just literally the tip of your middle finger touching the floor to make sure you'll go deep enough if you don't want to do touching the floor that's okay okay you can just keep make sure you keep your head up and your chest up as you reach for that floor if you're going to do that if you don't want to do that guys you can also try a chair squat where you simply touch your butt to a chair by floor touching you're able to actually feel how deep that squat is and to make sure you're going low enough remember it's all about getting that booty down nice and low all the way to knee level great job guys great job okay back straight head up let's go down to the floor for this next one all right assisting down to the assisting well, assi assisting rambling and uh, push up position on the knees okay guys here we go on the knees not with the feet crossed and we're doing a tricep push up but we're doing them really slowly lots of control elbows in back straight all the way down to the floor rest on the ground if you need to and then pushing back up now i want you to try guys to keep a nice straight body line okay if you can't go all the way down i'm demonstrating there that's okay just go as far as you can if you can go all the way down fantastic when you come back up keep your belly sucked in keep your abs sucked in so that you make sure that you keep a straight line as i'm signaling there all the way down all the way up you should be working the back of your arm which is a tricep you can see the little dip in the back of my arm at the top of the movement don't do that guys okay 
Keep your butt up. Keep your body in a straight line. Shoulder to knee. Good, good job. Good job. How are we doing? Stay on the floor. I actually stood up and then realized I had to go back down again. So come back down to the floor. Join me. We're going to go for that forearm plank. Now, guys, it's really important that you don't, you can't quite see there, but you don't go on your elbow. It's actually more on your forearm. So you want to make sure the weight is evenly distributed between your hand and down to your elbow. Imagine the meat of your elbow is what's actually, uh, the meat of your forearm suddenly is actually holding you up, okay? I'm loosening up my hip there a little bit, and you can also see a variation for the plank where you can do it on your knees should you not be able to hold the whole thing. But guys, you know, forearm plank is a pretty basic exercise and one you should definitely be trying to do. So if you can't do it on your feet, do it on your knees, but as soon as you can, pop up on those feet. That's really important, guys, okay? Keep your head up, keep smiling, and that's another one down. Great job. All right, guys, round two, last round. Okay, just five exercises. I think that was five. I'm not sure if it was five. Anyway, anyway, but the idea is we're going to swap now. First round, last round. Here we go, guys. Alternating under clap, knee raise. It's a great way to test whether you're lifting your knees high enough. If you only lift your knees a little bit, you're not really engaging anything more than the hip flexor. So we're trying to get into the core a little bit, make your balance work, and this is going to just help with that. You notice I'm going a little bit quicker this round. Trying to get a little bit of cardio into it. Keep that chest up, that head up. Don't hunch over. No, don't do that. That's what I'm saying there. Keep your back nice and straight. Clap in the... Uh, I, I say under clap, but it's really just the tips of your fingers touching. Unless your flexibility is better, you can bring it higher. Okay, we don't want to be doing that. That's not what we're doing, okay? We're keeping up nice and tall and bringing that knee up nice and high. Building that flexibility in the hips, the hamstring, the glutes. All right, it's a good exercise if you have trouble with the depth of a squat or crouching down, okay? So that's a good exercise. Here we go with a single side star jump. One side and the other. So you notice you're keeping a slight bend in the standing leg. So my right leg right there is keeping a slight bend, same as the left, and you're staying slightly low just so you get that little bit of extra, okay? If you find you can't bend your leg that little bit, just keep it nice and straight. But I'm just gonna bend that lower leg just a little bit so that my leg is working while my other leg is stepping out. Toe tapping to the side, just tapping the foot to the side and bringing it back in. You should be feeling that in the quads and I'm signaling there to make sure you keep the uh, hips soft and keep yourself a little bit lower than a standing position. 10 seconds, keep that going. If you're keeping up, you're doing great, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Please make sure to check out the other videos. Great job, okay? You can work through this series from start to finish. Then you can always go back to the beginning again, okay? All right, remember, guys, really important to keep that chest up, keep that booty tight, keep those abs in, okay? We can be working the core while we do all of these exercises, guys, by simply pulling your belly button in. Now, as you squat, make sure you stick your butt right out. That's what I'm signaling there. Making sure your toes are facing forward and you're sticking your bum back. So your knees are not going forward with your toes. Your butt is sticking out. Stick out that booty. Okay. All the way out, all the way in. Okay. You, if you don't want to touch the floor, guys, you can keep your hands on your hips. But I'd suggest trying it to build that flexibility and that mobility in the hips. Okay. Moving your knees through the full range of motion. All the way down, all the way up. Even your ankles are getting some movement in this. So keep that back straight. Try not to lean over too much. Reach out the floor and touch the floor with the tips of the fingers each time. All right, guys, let's go down to the floor. Remember these tricep push-ups, but we do them on the knees to make them a little easier. Back straight, knee or shoulder from your head, top of your head, let's say top of your head, all the way to your knees or shoulder to knees in a straight line. Notice I'm keeping my head up. And I'm trying to touch my chest to the floor. If you can't get all the way down, that's okay. Just do as deep as you can and push back up. And maybe every rep, just try and go a little bit lower. Remember, guys, if you flop or you drop, it's okay. The floor is right there to catch you. All right. Make sure you keep your head up, guys. If you flop with your head down, you're going to bang your face. So <laughs> We don't want to do that. And uh, I'll tell you a funny story sometime about when I did clap push-ups and dropped my uh, I didn't catch myself in time and actually gave myself a bloody nose. So that's not a good idea, guys. There you go. Okay, you can see I'm smiling there because I was thinking of that story at the time. 
But uh, there you go. I don't think I made a lot of sense a minute ago saying I'll tell you sometime, but I've told you now. Anyway, guys, you're doing fantastic. Okay, here we go. Forearm plank. Forearm plank. If you're not doing this exercise regularly, guys, you're really missing out. It's a fantastic exercise. It's a compound. It is actually using a lot more muscles than you think. There's not just your core involved. You're using your shoulders. You can see my shoulders engaged there. It's using a little bit of chest, a little bit of abs. All of the abs are engaged in this one. It's even using your quadriceps. That's your front thigh. It is using that muscle to hold you up so you are building a lot of stuff. And you want to build up, guys, how long you can hold this for. In this exercise, in this round, we're doing 45 seconds. That's just slightly above average. So if you hold it for the whole 45 seconds, you're doing great. But guys, try this one for longer periods, up to, say, two minutes. If you can hold plank for two minutes, then start adding some variations to it. Start adding some movement, start adding some side steps, some arm raises whatever makes it a movement based plank once you get past two minutes it's not really that effective all right guys great let's loosen it up move that chest around again just do what you want to do right now let's get that body all loosened back up you've done excellent remember guys it's really important to keep yourself nice and loose and stretched out because we want to be mobile but well conditioned so we look after the body, it'll look after you. But it's really important that you listen to your body as you stretch. And if it needs you to focus on something longer, do so. Don't just follow what I'm doing. Do some stretching yourself, post-workout, some loosening up. Have a fantastic day. Thank you ever so much for joining us, guys. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, as we always ask. And give us a flex. Great job, everybody. And as I said before, like this video blah 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 comment blah 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 and don't forget to subscribe thanks very much guys let your friends know if you enjoyed this video and they can come and join us as well and you can become part of team double n boom we out